Joining us now is Representative Tom Garrett, a Republican from Virginia. He serves on the Homeland Security and Foreign Affairs Committees. Welcome to the program. Thank you for having me. As we just heard, countries around the world are expressing concern from South Korea, Japan, Sweden, Germany, and as a member of the Foreign Affairs Committee, what do you think countries should do, including the U.S., to reduce the threat from North Korea? Well, I think we're finally getting around to taking a problem seriously about 23 years too late. In 1994, I believe, President Clinton stood before the nation and said that the North Korean nuclear threat was abated by the North Korean nuclear deal, that there was no longer a threat emanating from that part of the world. And then subsequent administrations, Republican and Democrat alike, have sort of looked the other way while we got to the point where now, mathematically speaking, it would appear that the North Koreans can strike more or less any part of the United States. But we're in a real position where if I were a person in Kyoto or Tokyo or Seoul or even now the United States, I'd be worried about a, a regime that wields weapons of mass destruction in a manner where it might be their rational thought that actually using them uh, would perpetuate their, the regime's existence. Right. That's a scary concept. Well, we need to have sanctions that are actually enforced. The Chinese need to come aboard. It appears they are, and that's how we're going to get this done. President Trump told reporters yesterday that, quote, it is a situation that we will handle. Do you think his quiet resolve was calculated to further avoid provoking Kim Jong-un? You know, I, I can't speak to the motives of this administration on that subject matter. I'll say this. Um, I think it was Dr. Seuss who said, wherever you go, there you are. Uh, President Trump walked in on day one facing this crisis because of neglect by preceding administrations. It is not an enviable position. But I think he's done an excellent job of marshalling the global community to further isolate this outlandishly backward regime. But, Congressman, you, know, you called for North Korea to be named a sponsor of state terrorism long before President Trump made that announcement last week. But is that, combined with the potential increase of sanctions, going to stop this regime from continuing its nuclear program? Well, if we knew that answer, we hopefully would have done it long ago. But we should do everything in our power to bring this regime at the very least to the table, which I don't think will get it done, uh, but hopefully to its knees so that there can be, again, a peaceful regime change. It's not only about the security and safety of people across the world. It's about the freedom and rights, hum basic human rights, of people in North Korea. Um, so everything we can do to put pressure on this regime needs to be done. Naming them as a state sponsor of terror was just another basic step in that direction. And I think America needs to understand that despite all the distractions, this on the foreign affairs stage is sort of a paramount threat. Congressman Tom Garrett of Virginia, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.